My name is Oscar Bowen and I am part of the craft beer community and I am one of the co-founders of the Central Florida Top Brewer Beer Festival. So what makes ours a little bit different is several things. The one is the, the blind drawing for the ingredients. So not only are you going to a beer festival, but you're going to a competition. So everyone is kind of being pushed outside of their comfort zone and creating a beer with the ingredients that they drew and then collaborating. And then I think that's one of the exciting things about moving forward with this festival is uh, the collaborations that are possible, not only with beer, but with restaurants, with uh, food bloggers, with a lot of uh, incorporating a lot of local uh, people that are doing some really cool stuff. An example of one of the collaborations is a brewery in Eustis called Wolf Branch, really cool guys. They're doing a collaboration with the Glass Knife and they came up with a really, really cool idea for a dessert pairing, uh, including the Glass Knife. So we're really excited to uh, see what that's about. I'm Josh Greenberg, I'm the creative director of Wolf Branch and one of the co-founders. When we joined the team at the Central Florida Top River Festival drawing, we pulled flaked barley, we pulled Y-E-T hops, and ginger and boysenberry. When we grabbed our ingredients, the first thought was panic, that we would not be able to create an interesting beer, and that quickly changed when we started to get into the characteristics of all of our ingredients. I went onto Google and searched for ginger and boysenberry recipes to see what other people were using those ingredients in. And I found that those ingredients were used in a dessert called Baked Alaska which I've never had before, but quickly looked into what it is and why people love it. And we said, we can actually make a dessert style beer that's based off of ingredients that are in a baked Alaska. And so we decided that we were gonna create our version of this beer called Brewed Alaska. Brewed Alaska is a brown ale that is perfectly paired with a lot of desserts. And so we figured what better partner to work with than the Glass Knife here in Central Florida. So not only are we gonna create a beer that pairs well with desserts, we're actually gonna bring desserts to the festival as well. As the craft beer movement has grown, more flavor profiles have become available, and a lot of them pair perfectly with pastries and desserts, and it's fun to pair the two. This is the first time the Glass Knife has participated in a beer festival, and we're looking forward to it. We enjoy being active in the community and showcasing what we have to offer. The tart that Chef Stewart is making actually is meant to just pair well with the beer. It's not baked Alaska, but it is a tart that includes boysenberry cream, which is one of our ingredients in brewed Alaska. It's gonna be a lemon tart shell filled with a ginger beer custard, with a boysenberry cream, a speculous biscuit crunch, and some other garnishes. It's something that's it's easier to eat. It's gonna be at a festival, and I don't want something to be too cumbersome for someone to try. And also with a tart, you get a lot of textural components because you have a tart shell, which is a nice crunch to it. And it's usually filled with something creamy. And that way you can, it's easier to build flavors and textures and eat on the go. This is the first time that we're participating in the Central Florida Top Brewer Festival. We're super excited about it because we create some really interesting beers and the format of this event is unique in the fact that you pull four ingredients that are completely random. And so it forced us to create a pretty unique beer that we haven't created before. And we feel that with our beer and the partnership with The Glass Knife, we're gonna be presenting something pretty special. On Saturday, we're bringing 400 tarts to pair with our brewed Alaska beer. And we'd recommend that people get there bright and early, 12 noon on Saturday, so that you get your taste at not only our beer, but the delicious beer pairing that goes along with it in these desserts.